Welcome to The Rich Report, a podcast with news and information on the world of big data. Today, my guest is from Pentaho. We have the CEO, Quentin Gallivan. So, Quentin, welcome to the show today. Uh, thanks, Rich. It's a real pleasure to be here. So, what I thought we'd do is like go through your slides and do like a Q&A at the end, get a little acquainted with the company, and, and see what you guys are up to. Well, thanks, Rich. I really appreciate the opportunity to share with your listeners um, about Pentaho's big data strategy. And what I'd like to do uh, before we dig into the big data strategy, just give you uh, an update on Pentaho. So Pentaho is an analytics software company. And what's unique about Pentaho is we actually bring together in a single platform both a data integration capability and then a full business analytics capability. And we've designed the data integration uh, capability to be purpose-built for business analytics. Uh, we are a subscription-based model, which I like because it really aligns the interest of the vendor with the customer. We're not all about a big perpetual license check. We're about earning our business every year and making sure our customers get value out of our technology. Uh, we have critical mass in terms of 1,200 commercial customers, over 10,000 companies that have deployed Pentaho in a production environment over 185 uh, countries. And uh, since we're a commercial open source company, we take pride and stewardship in really running and leading the most important open source analytics projects as related to um, a BIO lab uh, project, uh, data integration project, and predictive analytics project. And because we're all about uh, the single integrated platform, it's important for us to uh, to embed our technology and make sure we work with every key technology partner in the analytics ecosystem. We have over 100 uh, of those partners uh, to date. Uh, quickly, the Pintaho mission, we're all about building the future of analytics today. In addition to having data integration and business analytics married in a, in a single platform, we also focus on, at the analytical platform level, bringing together the world of the relational data, transaction data, with the new world of big data and diverse data, and bringing that together so that business users can get total insight from all the data. Uh, it's important for us to make sure our technology is easy and to embed in existing applications and coexist with existing technology, and it's important for us to make sure our technology is, is cloud-ready. As I mentioned, we're a commercial open source company, so the value to our customers around that is really uh, on our ability to innovate quickly. And we really look at um, our own engineers as being very, very talented, but we also draw upon a pool of 10,000 independent software developers that help us drive fast acceleration um, from our technology stack. And in terms of customers wanting to try our products, uh, we get a download every 30 seconds, so it's very easy for companies to use our product with their data and see what benefit uh, they might uh, attain. In terms of a, another tenant for us in building this analytics platform for the future is really to make sure that we provide the broadest insight spectrum for business users. Because at the end of the day, that's the real value is how quickly can a range of business users get insight from the data. And so we do from both a user experience perspective and then having a degree of, of insight or analytical capabilities, we meet the needs of a whole range of business users from um, analysts, from data scientists, for example, with a company called Ideally, or data scientists are analyzing clickstream patterns. So a whole range of business analyst, analysts at uh, Swissport, a logistics company in Europe, and Specsavers, a large retail merchandiser. Uh, to really the other end of the spectrum would be then business users that have different needs around the data, may not, may not be as sophisticated in terms of predictive analytics, uh, but we've got companies like Marketo where we've embedded our analytics into their offerings so that uh, lead generation and marketing executives can, can view data and can get insight from the data. And the other end of the spectrum, a large hospital chain in Europe called San Antonius. Nurses actually use the tool to analyze patient times. We have 300 dairy farmers that are using our tool to analyze production reports. And so it's very important for us as a design tenant to make sure we provide the broadest spectrum possible uh, for business users that want to get access to the data. 
Now, digging into our big data strategy, at Pentaho, what we're really trying to do in terms of the big data market and ecosystem is we're trying to focus on operationalizing Hadoop. And what we mean by that is we want to address two prominent pain points today. One pain point is from the IT person who's trying to get data in and out of Hadoop and into the various Hadoop subsystems, whether it's Hive or HBase, and into an analytical platform. That data integration challenge is very painful today. That's one focus. The second focus for us is then to help companies and business users analyze or gain insight from the data. And so on the slide in front of you, we have a graphic uh, presentation of how Pentaho works. So if you look at the graph, uh, you see that uh, our data integration tool, again, we marry data integration and business analytics. We make it easy for companies in a very visual way, not having to, to build custom job scripts and custom pig scripts to get data out of, for example, uh, web logs or out of relational data sources um, or out of Hadoop uh, infrastructure, transform the data into Pentaho's data integration, and then move that data into a data mart, whether it's a relational database, so that the business user can do a whole range of insight from basic reporting to ad hoc analysis to predictive analytics, or we have some customers that want to then report directly out of Hadoop, and we provide that, that capability. And again, that addresses what we believe uh, are hearing are the two biggest pain points uh, today. And so we're doing that on a customer-by-customer customer basis. It's also important for us then to address or operationalize Hadoop in terms of the broader ecosystem and the broader and be part of the big data fabric. And so our, our focus there is, if you look at the, the current slide, uh, you look at um, the middle bit, that's Pentaho's big data integration, and it's called, the project is called Kettle. And again, what we've done there is made a very visual, easy to use way for an IT person to really move data and schedule jobs out of all the Hadoop uh, components and subsystems where we've got deep connections um, from NoSQL databases like MongoDB and HBase and Hive and Cassandra most recently probably read the announcement where we're deeply integrated into, into Cassandra. And then on the analytical databases, companies want to move data in and out of those data stores and into some analytical data mart for analysis purposes. And so there we've got deep connections into the more prominent analytical databases, Vertica, Netiza, Greenplum, Teradata, Oracle, um, and that again, provides a great value to our customers in making sure that Pentaho is deeply integrated into the technology they want to use at the database level. And then our, our job there is to then make it very easy through one click button for companies to analyze the data, depending upon the business user and the persona. We've been very proud of our, our customer success, but, but as proud of the fact that the industry is now validating Pentaho's role in the Hadoop and big data ecosystem. And this is evidenced by the latest Forrester big data wave, where we're proud to see that Pentaho is really the only analytics put into the big data wave and listed as a strong uh, performer in their analysis. And to bring to life the advantage of Pentaho's very visual graphic data integration tool for big data, as you can see on the slide here, most data integration professionals, when trying to work with uh, Hadoop and all the Hadoop subsystems, have to build custom JavaScript or PIG scripts or MapReduce scripts. And that's very challenging uh, in the sense that once you add more use cases, you have to build more scripts. And there's, in terms of the labor pool, there's just not that many MapReduce programmers out there. And so what Pentaho has done to address that pain is to really abstract the MapReduce components. And so what we provide is a very visual tool, very point and click, drag and drop. The IT professional doesn't have to be a MapReduce uh, programmer. And it makes it very easy then to connect Hadoop data sources to analytical data warehouses and brings a lot of value to the IT professional. So in summary, what Pentaho strategy for big data is and the benefits we provide is again at the data integration layer 
a very visual tool, very easy to move data in and out of Hadoop and into uh, non-Hadoop data sources for analysis purposes. Uh, we make it very easy then for business users, whether you're a data scientist or a marketing executive, to use the right kind of analytics to actually gain insight from the data. And we really focus on making sure that Pentaho's technology is deeply embedded and integrated in all the components um, that are related to the big data landscape and ecosystem. What I'd like to do now is really talk about how some of our customers are using Pentaho's big data solutions and the benefits that they're getting. This first example is a large storage appliance manufacturer. And what they do is they're collecting machine data from their storage devices. They're out at the customer site. And with this machine data, they're looking at the health of the device. And it helps them understand what's going on so they can provide better support to their customers. And so what we did in helping this customer deliver on this analytic solution is, again, we provide a very seamless, easy data integration capability to allow them to move data from Hadoop to HBase to a relational Oracle database, and then actually do the analysis as to what's going on with, in terms of the health of that device that's out in the field. Another example is a large financial institution. And what this large financial institution wanted to do was to provide intraday reporting for their corporate customers where they provide balance reporting, and to do that in a fresh uh, intraday kind of way. And as you can imagine, most financial institutions have lots of data. They're under data deluge, and they've got data in all kinds of different data stores. And so what we've done with this particular financial institution is, again, help them in a very easy way move data from Hadoop, in this situation, to HBase, and then to DB2. Uh, and from that uh, data integration, the customer then can provide better reporting and intraday uh, balances to their corporate customers, a big competitive advantage for this financial institution. Another example is a prominent online retail uh, retailer called Ideally, uh, providing luxury goods. And in this environment, again, our persona or person using Pentaho is a data scientist that's really looking at clickstream analysis. And we see a lot of those use cases in big data is, is clickstream analysis and web log analysis. And again, what we've done is help uh, the customer move data in and out of Hadoop into Hive, report directly from Hive, and then also report data uh, into a relational data mart you know, with a whole range of, um, of data analytics and data capabilities. Uh, this example here is now uh, based in Europe, and it's travel attainment which is a subsidiary of a very large um, a travel group called Amadeus. And in this environment, what the customer is looking to do is, again, to get data from Hadoop into Hive um, and report directly against that data. In addition, uh, the customer wanted to move data into a relational data warehouse and then allow their customers to go online and do self-service analysis and self-service reporting for the business customer. So the fact that Pentaho had this very flexible business analytics capability, um, in addition to the data integration, was very, very important to this customer. And they wanted their customers to have the flexibility of actually viewing the data um, through mobile environment and uh, through mobile tablets. And just in summary, uh, we're all about at Pentaho is building the future of analytics and, again, building this modern architecture where we're marrying a robust data integration capability with a full business analytics suite that's extensible to relational data, non-relational data, or big data, extensible to the cloud, fully battle-tested with over 10,000 companies using our products in a production environment. And our open source routes allow us to really drive acceleration by tapping into uh, 10,000 uh, developers. And because of our commercial open source model, we're 90% more cost effective than traditional analytical software products. Uh, Rich, thank you for allowing me to share the Pentaho story. Uh, now I'm open to any questions you may have. Well, thank you, Quentin. A, a question about, you know, when, when you began, you talked about the open source and the, the rapid amount, you, amount of downloads you have, we, one download every 30 seconds. Could you contrast, you know, what does a customer get when they download and use this software versus uh, when they buy the subscription? 
the the download the customer gets uh, the entire product uh, download it from our our site or where you download it from uh, SourceForge, uh, which is an open source site. So the customer gets a working rich product. Uh, there are some components on the predictive analytics side and on some of the interactive reporting um, that you, you get with a subscription. And of course you get the support uh, with a subscription as well. And, and Quentin, are a lot of these customers that you're seeing when they first come to uh, Pentaho, um, ha have they already messed around with Hadoop or other solutions and they're looking for something more robust or what's been your experience? Well, Hadoop is a fascinating, uh, and big data is a fascinating market because it's still in the early stages. And so we're finding with a lot of customers and a lot of companies, companies will have an infrastructure for relational data um, and IT professionals that are supporting that infrastructure. And then for the big data, it's a whole new set of tools and a different team. And so we... Uh, really work with both teams. And so on the big data side, because it's still a maturing market, we'll have customers that will come to us and they'll start off with pain point number one, which is how can I move data out of Hadoop into a NoSQL database, into an analytical data mart without having to write a whole bunch of custom JavaScripts. And so that's usually where we customers come to us and we help them uh, address that pain point. Once they've really put together the data integration flow, um, then they go, what can we do with the data and how can we help our users? And that becomes sort of the second path that we start to work with these customers. And a kind of a wrap-up question here, Quentin. It, it, where, where is this going? Are, what are they asking you for in terms of new capabilities? Do they want to be able to access wider uh, spans of data or do they want to be able to predict further in the future? What what are they after? Uh, the fir again, the first piece that we usually get engaged is they're putting the plumbing in. And um, and, and usually the, it's, it's about getting, it's one or two use cases. You know, some of the kinds of use cases that I shared earlier, whether it's web log analysis or mean machine data analysis or fraud analytics or user behavior pattern analysis. And so they first started getting the data in. And then depending upon the use case, um, they may ask for a predictive analytics capability uh, to your question about looking at the data, particularly the big data and being able to predict or build propensity models of what a user might do um, whether that user might be open to buying more from the company or that user might churn or go away by seeing user behavior pattern. Um, so we see a lot of use cases there, but we also see uh, use cases where companies are just trying to get ad hoc analysis and basic reporting from data sitting in Hadoop. Well, great. Well, Quentin Gallivan, I want to thank you once again for coming on the show today. Thanks, Rich. It was a real pleasure. You bet. Okay, folks, that's it for the Rich Report. Stay tuned for more news and information on the world of big data.